Hey guys, I'm Davey Wavy, and today we are talking about outdoors sex. And the reason is because we just uploaded, I just uploaded a video to himrose.tv called Overheard, and it features two really sexy guys, Angel Cruz and JP Dubois, and they're having sex outside by a lake. What makes it so exciting is that there's a hiking trail just behind them, so they have the risk of being overheard, which is what makes the sex so intense. And I think for gay men, the idea of having sex outside is very relatable because for a lot of us, that's how, that's how we did it. And for me, having sex outside was not because I thought it was beautiful to have sex next to a lake. It was because it was out of necessity because I couldn't have sex at my house. I was still in the closet. So I would find places outside and I had a I wish I remember what year it was. It was a Saturn. Maybe it was like a 1997 Saturn, I want to say. I thought it was the coolest fucking car. And the back seats folded down so that the trunk would basically like connect with the inside of the car. And what I discovered was that that back seat, when folded down, was basically like a small bed. So if I was dating a guy or hooking up or whatever, we could go into the back of my car First of all, drive to like a park or, or find a, a dark parking lot somewhere and then lay in the back seat. And then if like a cop comes by because it looks suspicious to see this like car in, in a dark parking lot, we would pull the seats up so that if he put his flashlight into the car to look, he wouldn't see anything other than windows that were obviously super steamed up. So that was our game plan. Uh, and, and that's what we did. Or if another car drove by, or if we heard someone talking, we would pull the thing up. Can you imagine if we got like, lo if my like naked ass got locked in the, the trunk of my 1997 Saturn? The other thing that I did was, uh, I was seeing this boy when I was like 16 or 17 who lived in New Jersey, and I drove out there, and he had never had sex before and I maybe had had sex once, and we obviously couldn't have sex at his house, so we went to a park, and this was like in the middle of the day, and I remember there being people everywhere, so we just kept walking into the woods, and finally found a semi-secluded area where there were like all these fucking gypsy moths, worms descending from the sky, and he bent me over a log. I for sure had not douched. I don't think I knew what that was. Every element that could make sex bad was present. I don't think we knew about lube. We certainly didn't have any. So he put a condom on, probably like five condoms on because we grew up in a world where like the connection between, like if you had gay sex, you were gonna die of AIDS. That's what I was taught growing up. So he put on his, you know, five condoms and had never had sex before and just kind of stuck it in with no lube <laughs> in my undouched ass bent over a lot with gypsy moths descending on us. And I think I still remember it as being better than it was. He also had a really big dick. It just like, it just amplified the fact that there's no lube and uh, it, it probably felt awful, but we were both so desperate to have gay sex that we didn't, like I could have cared less. Like it was probably, I thought it was like super hot, I'm sure in the moment. What I'm curious about though is, I I'm sure you guys have some amazing outdoors sex stories. I would love in the comments below if you guys could share some of those. I would love to read them. And also, even if you're not a Himrose.tv member, you should still go to Himrose.tv to watch the free preview for Overheard because girl, it is, it is worth it. It's super hot. So it's H-I-M-E-R-O-S dot TV. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, more to come.